<laughs> What's going on? It's TJ Tires. We back for your weekly motivation. You got the strength to build it inside. All we got to do is get it up, baby. I'm pumped up. I'm excited. Listen, it's been a while since we had the up close and personal, you know, motivation. Listen, I'm enjoying bringing you guys motivation. I pray, I hope that you're enjoying it as well. And if you are, do me a favor, share, share, share. It's already too much negativity on Facebook, on social media. Listen, I've been blessed. I've been blessed to be able to have a three boys, a 13-year-old, 11 year old and a nine year old and all three of my boys just like me and their mother my wife they're all type a personalities and so we come home one day you know late after probably football practice and and we're in the, we're in the kitchen and i'm and I'm, I'm i'm making the chicken i pull the chicken out the oven i got this smile on my face because i'm excited i said i said that was going on to me i'm excited I said, why are you so excited i said i didn't burn the chicken this time i didn't burn the chicken this time listen i put a timer on i took it out Listen, not only was it not burnt it wasn't tough it was some juicy chicken. Listen, you don't got to take my word. Well, actually, you do got to take my word for it because I have no witnesses here. But I'm telling you right now, I made some juicy chicken. And so I decided to make them chicken salad because they haven't had anything green in a while. So I cut the chicken up and I put it, you know, I put it in the salad. And I put it on the table. And I said, you guys, you get your own dressing. You decide what type of dressing you want. And, you know, so Xavier, my 11-year-old, sits down first and he, he grabs the, you know, the, the salad dressing. And he puts it on the, on the salad. And then he, he, he sets the salad dressing down. He just sits it right there. Then Von Zell, my nine-year-old, sits down. He, he's sitting. He looks at Xavier and says, Xavier, can you pass the salad dressing? Xavier looks at the salad dressing, looks back at Von Zell, and he says, no. So Von Zell looks at Xavier perplexed, and he says, what? So for the second time, Von Zell says, Xavier, can you pass the salad dressing? And Xavier looks at the salad dressing, looks back at Von Zell, and he says, I said no. So now Von Zell's really perplexed. He said, why can't you pass the salad dressing? It's right there within reach. Listen, the salad dressing is right within reach of Xavier's left hand. And, and Xavier says no two times. And Von Zell says, why? And Xavier says, because I don't feel like it. He, he said, because I don't feel like it. Listen, here's my question to you. How many of you have something worth value, something valuable that you have within reach that you know can be a blessing to someone else? But you refuse to give it to them. You refuse to share it with them because you don't feel like it. You know who you are. Listen, I'm asking you to look on the inside right now and be honest with you. You don't got to be honest with me, but be honest with yourself. How many of you have something that you know is of value that can be a blessing to someone else, but you refuse to share it because you don't feel like it? I got news for you, baby boy. I got news for you, baby girl. It's not about you. As a matter of fact, it's not about your feelings. Who cares how you feel right now? If you only did things when you felt like doing them, then you would never do anything great. I'm going to say it again. If you only do things when you feel like doing them, then you will never do anything great. And the greatest thing you can do is be a servant to other people. The greatest thing you can do is to be a blessing, to be a giver. Because when you give, it should be given to you, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Listen, I know you heard it in the good book, but I practiced it. My career, my life, my family did not go to the next level until I learned the power of giving, the power of serving. So how many of you within the last year has been standing in a, in a, in a grocery line and you overheard somebody, you know, in front of you who, who didn't have quite enough to pay for their groceries. And how many of you, you know, stepped forward and paid for their groceries? Or better yet, how many of you were standing in the grocery line? You had no idea they can afford or not, but didn't care, but said, let me buy your groceries today. How many of you knew that your cup running over and you said, my cup running over, I want to be a blessing to someone else? How many of you, when you got that email from your school and the email said, you know, we, we, have, we have a fund for kids who are less fortunate, and you can donate money to help them to be able to go on a school trip. How many of you responded to that email and donated money to help those kids who can't afford it? Better yet, how many of you were sitting in, in line headed to work and you were rushing and there was a car sitting there and you knew they were trying to get out and it was like 10, 12, 15 cars deep and you knew, you knew that they would not get out for a very long time and you had the opportunity to let them out but you sped up. You sped up as close as you could to the car in front of you. Almost hit their bumper and you stopped because you don't feel like letting them in because you didn't feel like letting them in. How many of you have something of value that you know could change somebody's life, but you're not sharing it because you don't feel like it? How many of you have the knowledge, the expertise? 
I'm not talking about money anymore. Nothing. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about how many of you can get somebody some knowledge, can help them go to another level mentally, emotionally. But you're not giving it. You hoard it to yourself to make yourself look good, to make yourself look important, because you don't feel like giving it to someone else. Listen, it's not about you. It's about other people. This life. It's about relationships. Your mother, your father, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids, the stranger. Can you be a blessing to a stranger today? Can you be a blessing to a stranger this week? Can you be a blessing to a child today? Because if you can, if you can give to them, and if you can learn to be a servant, you just might change their life. I didn't read it in a book. Somebody decided to give to me. Somebody decided to pass the salad dressing. I was trying to eat. I was struggling to feed my family. I was struggling to become the person God called me to be. And someone stepped in and noticed that I had my chicken salad and it was dry. And I needed a little bit of salad dressing just to make it taste that much better. You have something of value that you can share with someone to make their life that much sweeter. Why won't you do it? You got the strength to be on the inside. All we got to do is get it.